What is up, YouTube? I recently found out that I am a beta male. No! So I'm gonna take a journey on how to become more alpha. But thankfully, thankfully, there's a plethora of smuggling filters right here on YouTube to tell you how to do just that. <laughs> Gentlemen, in the world of social media, fake alphas are everywhere. Now, at first glance, you're like, damn, bro is- Whoa! Oh my god, he's so alpha! But when in reality, just a bitch posing and perpetrating that he is indeed alpha. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner! That it's very easy to identify a fake alpha if you know what to look for. Today, gentlemen, I'm going over 10 ways to spot a fake alpha. Alpha. Ten different ways to spot a fake alpha. What a tool. Is no homo. An authentic alpha is comfortable in his own skin. He doesn't feel the need to say no homo when he gives another dude a compliment. He's okay. That penis is mighty smooth. No homo. I love the sound of a penis exiting a butthole. No homo. When it hits the back of your throat, like no homo. Second sign that somebody is a fake alpha is he's automotively annoying. Automotively annoying? What? So the first sign of being a fake alpha, I guess, is to just start making shit up. That's kind of a recurring theme I've noticed with these, you know, wannabe guys. They just seem like a bunch of metrosexual dudes, which is nothing wrong with being metro. So you know, you want to take care of your stuff. Whatever, man. It doesn't bother me. You know, you want to stick penises in your mouth and stuff. I really don't care, all right? It doesn't make you alpha or beta or anything like that. This guy has 5 million subscribers, 360,000 views on this video. You know, I wonder how many of these people are watching it just for the clickbait aspect of it and not like, Oh, I need to be an alpha. I need to be an alpha. If you're trying to learn how to be an alpha, guess what? It's never going to happen. If you're trying to learn how to not be beta, alpha, apex, predator, I'm going to eat your liver. Give me your soul. Okay? That's, you, either, you either got it or you don't. It's not one of those things that you can learn from a YouTube video from a smuggler with two earrings and perfectly trimmed hair, plucked eyebrows, and a child's shirt on. Squealing, he's making as much noise as he possibly can, trying to show off, trying to just be the center of freaking attention. Real huh. You don't say. Showing off, trying to be the center of attention. Look at all of my stuff. Check out my selfies. The spicy senorita by his side, engaged in an intellectual conversation, or running his hand up her buttery thigh. Up her buttery thigh. Yeah, that's so creepy, dude. He's probably an apex predator. <laughs> predator. I mean, he's wearing, he's still got the little kid's shirt on. All right, these are just my opinions. Don't sue me, come guzzler, please, I'm a beta. They humble brag. Oh, I just bought my mom a house. Or, oh my God, I just bought my dad a pony. It's not about me, it's about them. And why, why, why would you buy your dad a pony? I don't understand. Why would you buy your dad a pony? They need it, they deserve it, they're such great parents, and you know, I'm just, I'm just buying them a house and posting it on Instagram. A legit alpha doesn't feel the need to showcase the fact that he did nice things for other people. He just does them. Because he's a good dude and it feels good to do good things for other people and you don't need other people to know all the good things or amazing things that you do because you're amazing. Gentlemen, that's not alpha, that's fake alpha. So, fifth sign that somebody is a fake alpha, they always are reminding you how amazingly charming and handsome and smart and good-looking and incredible and amazing they are. If I wasn't such a nice guy, that would that would probably piss me off. I, I don't even need to talk over this. That tells you everything you need to know. I'm not even looking at the screen. I know what's on it. Good thing I'm smart. She wants me. The sixth sign that somebody is fake alpha is he's constantly in every mirror, every reflective surface, every window, fixing and preening and making sure that his hair is absolutely perfect. If a real alpha starts to lose Loses his hair, he's like, yo, this really sucks, but I'm going to do one of two things. I'm either going to embrace it, or I'm going to go to Bosley <laughs> and get some hair plugs. Because real alphas get hair plugs. They always get hair plugs. They don't just shave their head and become Bruce Willis. They go to Bosley and get hair plugs. By my sh The other option, I go to Bosley. Today's video is- ah! <laughs> 
plug. This dude's plugging his. He's plugging his merch, bro. This guy's plugging his stuff. Hey, cock smuggler, your penis has to be 15 feet long. Buy my merch. Oh. This guy's gotta know, like, if you're not, if you don't see through this guy like a, a freaking double pane window, then you know, you need to get your eyes checked, man, because. This dude is, and this this is the type of dude you can just tell by looking at him. He's been stumbling around his whole life, drooling and running in the walls and shit. And then he just one day came across like a Jordan Peterson podcast on how to be a man, and somebody with a higher brain function, you know, than him, dropped a little piece of knowledge on him one day, and he's like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and he based his entire life around that piece of knowledge that he found out about, you know, which apparently was how to be an alpha male. I'm gonna make a million dollars on telling dudes how to be a dude. Ooh. Sponsor and the hair doctors. Fact. Hair loss sucks. It's a confidence killer for so an appointment and sit down with an go over you, your hair loss, your hair. Still go this guy's going on for two minutes straight about Bosley, his sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Flexing. The flexing I'm talking about is always showboating and showcasing all the incredible stuff they have, the cars they're buying, the women they're hanging out with, because a lot of times the women you see these fake outfits with aren't actually like into them. It's fake. Everything about it is fake. It's all about the smoke and mirrors. It's about the style over the substance. The A thing, speaking of substance, that fake outfits are always doing is a lot of selfies. Of selfies. The easiest ways to spot a fake outfit is look at his Instagram page, right? If he's constantly posting pictures, or better yet, he's got all these perfectly posed pictures of himself and other people are actually taking the pictures. But the truth is that this is not something you should look towards as the ideal or something that is expected of you, all right? Because in my opinion, real alphas don't feel the need for constant, constant, constant validation. You wanna be a real alpha male? You gotta tell your woman to get in the kitchen, bitch. Where's my dog? I need to f*** it. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, the tenth way to spot a fake alpha is that they are mean or they put other people down. You're beta, you're beta, you're beta. Alpha male syndrome 101, you know, giant bags of penises. This guy is a chode, all right? He's not exactly a butthole, and he's definitely not a card holder for the giant testicular awards or anything of that nature, so that puts him right in the middle, which makes him a chode. But I can't watch any more of this video because I got to go get more alpha. <laughs> now go guzzle some cum. So literally as I'm recording this video, this guy came out with a response video to Memulus um, making fun of him, basically. And uh, I won't play the, the whole video, maybe just a clip. <clears throat> more or less, he says, I thought it was going to hurt my feelings, but they were really nice. Knuckle bump. Which is a pretty beta thing to say, I think. I don't know. Knuckle bump? That's not. Is that a thing? I thought it was fist bump. Give me some dabs. You know, bro fist. I'd never heard of it. But after watching it, it made me reassess my video that I'm doing on him. Uh, and maybe I'll cut out the part where I call him a. Seeing this video uh, as in contrast to all of his other videos, I bet you in real life he's actually a really nice dude. Um, probably a pretty cool dude to hang out with, I would imagine. But, you know, that still doesn't change the fact that the videos are very chody. Which is probably why Mimulus did a video on him in the first place. But he claims to get it, so he says he gets it uh, right before he promotes some products. <laughs> But there are a few things I want to clear up. Number one, my earrings. Yes, I know that they, they I, 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 I get it. I just don't care. Literally, I like am, am having sex with dogs. Twisted steel and sex appeal. Sex appeal. A true alpha. The most alpha thing I've ever seen. Just to throw it out there. I was debating whether or not to do this video because I didn't know if by me addressing it, it would actually incentivize other people to do more negative videos about me. Well. I was actually making this video when you dropped this one, so. And I didn't even see the Memeless video. I don't think that's the case, bro. You know, I was already making this before I saw the Memeless video. I just found it in my research. Then again, I'm probably, maybe I'm not your tar target demographic because I'm not truly trying to learn how to be more alpha because I am the apex predator and I definitely eat souls for breakfast. Mimulus, I would just like to give you a little knuckle bump, which is ridiculous in 
and of itself. Enemy Shades. <laughs> well, you didn't think I was going to skip an opportunity to promote something, right? right anyway I'm done. I'm out. I'm done. Can I please get some internet drama? Get me some subscribers? I'm canceled. Go guzzle some cum. <laughs>